Hey guys, out here doing a walk around video on the 1989 Toyota Crown Royal Salo Saloon G. Uh, this is a UZS 131 model. Uh, now what that means is that this was one of the very few cars, or the Crowns, that received the 1UZ V8. Um, this vehicle was purchased from Japan Auction. Uh, it was a 3.5 grade. No rust, no con corrosion whatsoever. Uh, underneath shows uh, a little surface rust, as can be expected with a vehicle this age. Uh, but other than that, um, there is no, let me see, no accidents have been reported on this vehicle. No body work, no paint work to the best of my knowledge. Um, honestly, I feel that this vehicle could have been a grade four, but uh, I believe the only reason why it was not a grade four was due to this small scuff here on the rear bumper. But as you can see, going down the body here, it is in very good condition. Uh, I have done a full clay bar polish wax and sealant which was very much needed because when I first received the vehicle it looked like whoever owned it before just went through its entire ownership of automatic car washes. It was very swirled and faded but I ended up bringing it back um, there is one small ding that I'll point out here on here on the crease now uh, my dent removal guy said he could have had it if he could have removed this which he didn't want to do because there's plastic I think I got my hand on the mic he didn't want to do it because there was plastic clips and he left it up to me and I decided to not mess with them because every time I mess with plastic clips I break them so I will let the new owner deal with that all the wheels are in great shape no scuffs curb rash whatsoever I will say that the tires are dated they do have about 70% tread, uh, but you know if you're going to be driving this around quite a bit, I would recommend some new rubber. There's the uh, crown. Let's see if I can focus in on there. The crown rain guards. All the chrome trim on this car is in very good condition. There's the roof line. All the glass is in great shape. All have the Toyota logo on there. I can can't see that anything's been replaced. <clears throat> this vehicle is registered in my name. So, let's start her up. I believe I covered everything on the outside here. A couple other cool things is the fact that this vehicle did come with the fender mirrors. I've been looking at a lot of crowns. I'm a big fan of the Toyota crowns. And I can tell you that, one, getting a black one is not rare, but, you know, not very common either. Um, but to find a black one fully equipped with the 1UZ and the fender mirrors is uh, something that's rare in itself. Most of these vehicles did come with the power uh, folding mirrors, which are nice, and I can see how most people would rather have that option, but I love fender mirrors. I think they're uh, very cool. They just give it that JDM feel. Uh, I think the fender mirrors really bring a lot more attention to the vehicle. Otherwise, I don't think anybody would even look twice at this thing. 
Uh, the fender mirrors I get a lot of compliments on when going out. Everybody loves them. They're very cool. So let's go ahead and start it up. You can hear the motor. As mentioned, this only has 54,000 miles on it. And you can see the power, the memory steering column. Turn this AC. As you can see, there is no check engine lights, oil lights, or anything of the sort. Uh, the AC, since I just turned it on, is airing up, getting level. Pop the hood here. Okay. There she is, very clean. I'll also add that this vehicle has had a recent oil change. Uh, it has had a R134A conversion um, with three pounds of, uh, what do we call it, Freon added. And this thing blows ice cold, no issues whatsoever. At 55,000 miles, or 54,000 miles, uh, this motor is far from being broken. Um, the 1UZ is probably one of the most reliable uh, engines that Toyota ever built. Um, I personally have owned two LS400s, both reaching 250,000 miles plus, and have ran perfectly. Uh, this vehicle does share uh, many other components with the LS400. Uh, engine, transmission, uh, I, I believe uh, suspension. So um, if anybody's hesitant about buying something like this for uh, daily use, you know, don't let that deter you. I would daily this thing every single day with no problems. Um, I have included some photos of the undercarriage and you will see that the suspension, the airbags are in great condition, no cracks or anything like that. I don't see any problems out of the suspension uh, anywhere in the near future. So let's get on to the inside of the vehicle here. Uh, the door here has, the driver's door here has the uh, trunk release here. Uh, this is your windows, you got auto down. Uh, I will add that the doors are rimless. And auto up, because one thing I can't stand is a auto down and not an auto up. I don't understand why some new cars don't have that. Uh, your power power mirrors right here all that does work all your windows are in perfect working order like the LS 400 it also drops down into a triangle there <clears throat> so as you can see the interior is in great condition I've had a couple people ask me about the photographs of the interior and I will say it does photograph a little bit weird it has like a purplish tint to it and I don't know why it does that but it is certainly blue <laughs> and as you can see uh, everything does work 
There's your lumbar. It does work also. Okay. I'm going to shut off this motor and kind of cut out any, any noise here. Steering wheel's in good shape. Uh, the lace seats, lace seat covers are in excellent condition. I did take them out and I ran it with some bleach and brought them back a little bit. Uh, excellent uh, attention to detail here as you can see the, the crown uh, emblem there. Um, this is something else that is kind of special, that is to me special about this vehicle. Uh, most of the times you can't find these things uh, as people will just take them out and never put them back in. Because I took them out and uh, they were a pain in the butt to put back on. Or at least they are not that easier. Uh, headliner. It's in great shape. No issues there. And as you can see here, the, the middle sun visor still has the plastic wrap on it from factory. It's weird. Center console here. As you can see, good condition. This uh, cloth is very nice, thick, and uh, no signs of wear whatsoever. Very comfortable. And uh, as you see, excuse a little bit of dirt driving out here. Uh, it has the shag carpets. And uh, can't wait to get in this thing and just drive around with my shoes off. Uh, this vehicle did come with two sets of carpets, so in case the the shag is just a little too much for you. You can tone it down a little bit, but that's pretty cool to even keep all the all the uh, original mats. <clears throat> uh, the only aftermarket thing I see here is this uh, radar detector, and the little sensor is in the front. I've never used it. I'm sure it's completely dated for. Uh, the radar they run these days so that's pretty much pointless but I'd rather not start pulling things out and messing anything up so I'll just leave it in there uh, this right here is your let's see I'm gonna have to turn this on so this is your uh, what you see here is the this is the switch for the power curtains and this is for the parking pole so you turn that on, and as you're making turns, it's supposed to beep if you get too close, I believe. I'll turn that off. And this is for your power curtains here in the back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show that it is in uh, working order. Open. Close. And now those are automatic, just one touch. And you could actually drive around with the curtains closed. You know, it's not a fully, it's not a solid material and you can see pretty easily right through there. So, moving on. <coughs> Excuse me. As you can see here, nothing really too much to show here other than, let me show you the mileage. 87 127 uh, this car is fully warmed up and it's the temperature does not fluctuate at all there you go and also if you're riding around you don't want to look at your RPMs you can just drop it into uh, your speedometer there okay now uh, this vehicle did come equipped with the uh, touchscreen navigation. Now on the camera I'm sure it's going to show these lines going through. Uh, that is not the case. It doesn't do that in live time. Um, but this is your compass. Uh, the, here's the touchscreen does work. I don't know what all these things are or what it's saying. Uh, uh, this is for your TV here, okay, and of course this is pretty much obsolete also because the, uh, of course we're on a digital system now, but I know there is some people on the forums that do convert these 
uh, to a digital system and get the TV working. Um, also with the radio, of course, you're not going to be able to pick up uh, American stations, the ones that you normally listen to. So uh, I've also seen guys throw in a double den there, and it looks very clean. Um, <clears throat> but uh, let's see here. AC works great. Oh, and here's your uh, swing vents here. They do work great. Or oscillating vents. I'll turn that down. Uh, this is for the rear seat control. So if somebody gets out of the back seat, zoom in there. So if somebody gets out of the back seat and uh, forgets to put their seat back, you can just put it, put them back. Um, the suspension controls, you can, uh, let's see, I'll go put it on high, and as you can see, it does work just fine. You can hear it air it up. As a matter of fact, when that lights up, it's, the compressor's on. And that's just riding around town, if you wish, but if you're wanting to get on it, you want to go in sport mode, uh, what sport mode does, mode does, it doesn't just lower your car right away. That will happen once you've reached past 70 kilometers, and you'll go from a normal ride height to a lower ride height and the suspension will kind of tighten up and I've got another video that on that too and I'll include the link I did a test drive on it so here's the the driver has access to just the the passenger controls now the driver's seat does not have these controls this is for the driver to accommodate their rear passengers and as you can see this thing will go all the way up no problems give plenty of leg room back there for the rear passengers as they recline their seats and there's the these things here they'll just kind of roll up or roll back give you some headroom or for your headrest um, the doors everything I got to start going through this quickly because this only lets me record about 20 minutes and I want to get get to the rear seat here So this is where all the magic's at. As you can see, here's the rear seat controls here, and I'll demonstrate how the uh, reclining rear seats work. Here you go, and I'm gonna push it. Oh, wrong way. There you go, forward and back. Here is your uh, rear AC controls and your rear radio controls. Also, another cool thing is that the it has a small uh, refrigerator in the back. Got a little space to throw your just enough space to throw your sushi back there. Keep it cool on your trip. There's your armrest. But let me see. I think I've covered just about everything. So. As you can see, the seats again, everything is in just really good condition. Uh, door panels are in great condition. We'll come around here and get the other side so you can see the condition of the seats and the doors. There you go. Just a really great looking car. Everything's intact. There's your passenger. Okay. That works, of course. I've already demonstrated that. And glove box, mirror, and original owner's manual, which is something I have a pet peeve about. I love original owner man owner's manuals, and it has all of the. Sorry about that has the all the maintenance or the shocking inspections that were up to date here and of course Jevic inspection verifying all the mileage I have to go through this pretty quickly because I'm running out of time on my thing here where's your thing right there so there she is great looking car 
and I will say that for being a 3,500 pound car, this is an excellent cruiser. Please check out my other video that I made doing a test drive, and you'll see that this V8 is no slouch whatsoever. It just pulls this car effortlessly. Do one more walk around with the rest of my time I have here. If you have any other questions, please feel free to message me and I will gladly answer any and all questions. Uh, thank you again for checking out my video and I will, I hope that whoever decides to buy, oh the trunk, my goodness, quickly. Oh, got, still got my drone in there. But there's the trunk, still has the roadside reflectors, really good condition, still has the uh, soft mat, the Toyota soft mat there. Not the soft closed trunk like the Sentry has, but uh, anyways. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, message me if you have any questions. Bye.